everyone. I know that uh, we've been sitting a little bit more than usual. I know I have, um, and my hips are tight. My chest feels really tight. Uh, oftentimes when we're slouching, then we start to get a little bit relaxed with our posture. And I wanted to bring you about six movements you could do at any time during the day if you need a little break. Um, just something to have a go-to in order to really open things up. Uh, find some more balance in the body. So the first move I have is a lap pull with a rotator reach. So you're gonna pull down, elbows come to about 90. You'll rotate your hands towards the floor, press, pull, rotate, and reach. So you can feel full range of motion, pressing out, pulling in, and then at any time if you want to hold part of the movement, feel free to hold it and open up a little bit more. So this spot right here, elbows forward, tends to be tight for me. I like to hold that, then big press overhead, big pull down, rotate, press, pull, elbows reach. Maybe you hold, big reach overhead, and we'll get about one more here. Big pull back, rotate, reach, and release roll those shoulders back. Our second move is a good morning. So you're gonna bring your feet about hip width apart, arms to the ears. You're gonna hinge forward by pushing your hips back, gaze down towards the floor, just until you feel a stretch through your hamstrings with a nice flat back. And then reset right back to neutral. So hips shift back, big stretch through hamstrings and glutes, and return to standing. Your gaze is down at the floor so neck stays nice and long and really feel like your elbows open up so your chest stays open as your hips push back. We'll get about three more here, nice and controlled. You can hold at any spot down or on the way back up as well. Two more. Really press hips back. And final move here. Good, shake it out. We're gonna come down to push up position for our third move, right foot reaches towards right hand. I'm gonna hold that runner's lunge for a moment and then step back to push up position and switch your side. So this is an active movement here as you reach your foot back. Step through option is to drop to your knee and you can hold for a little longer as well on each side. And then your toes can turn to about 10 o'clock and two o'clock if you need a little bit more opening through the outer side of your hip. One side may feel a little tighter than the other. That's totally normal. Just meet your body wherever it is in each side. Let's get one more on the right side. And one more on the left side. Come back to that push-up position. Walk your hands in. Roll up. Our next move, we have a frog spot, so feet come wide. The wider you go, the easier it is to keep your heels down, which is what I want for you. So if you need to step out wide, don't worry. Just make sure that those heels are pushing down. You have a little more room. So we're gonna drop down to a frog squat. Chest stays lifted, chin up, and then inhale both arms overhead. We'll work through our range of motion here as well. You can hold or find some movement at the bottom if that feels good to you and then reach up tall. Nice, strong core. I'm going to inhale as you come overhead. Exhale as you come down. You stay nice and wide. We'll get two more here. Just getting a little more depth through the hips, a little deeper stretch through the outer thighs, the abductors, your glutes. One more big, strong reach up and down. Return to standing. Roll those shoulders back. Our next move is a pass through. Most of the time we use a dowel rod or a broomstick or something to come forward and back. Um, a pair of pants works really well. It has some elasticity, so it gives you a little bit of range um, to really open up your chest. So we're gonna start, you're gonna find some tightness on your pants, you're gonna stretch them apart slightly. And I want you to start with your hands pretty wide. So walk them, up, up, walk them out, and then as you get a little bit um, looser, you can walk them back in. You'll touch your quads. We're gonna reach up and over. You'll touch below your glutes with the towel or the pants or whatever item you have to use. Tap your quads. 
and then tap below your glutes. And we'll work through that range of motion about seven or eight times. You can stop or pause at any moment, down or up, if you want a little deeper stretch. So sometimes it might feel good to hold it back before moving through. You listen to your body and you find that spot and hold and breathe or do whatever is best for you. Let's get about three more here. Big pass up and over. Shoulders stay down even as we're working them through their complete range of motion. Two more. And one more strong big reach up and over. Tap and all the way back up. Our last move, we don't need any props there. Feet come about hip width apart, arms back by the ears, just a little light touch on your head, and you're gonna drop your left elbow towards your left thigh, right elbow reaches towards the ceiling, back to center, and then up and over. It's like you're between two panes of glass, so we'll work flexion and extension of the spine, but laterally, so side to side, as one elbow comes up, the other comes down, and you can hold the stretch at the bottom. I want you to think about really coming out of your hips, so finding some length, reaching up and out as you come down. And let's get one more each side. Exhale as you stand back up. Inhale as you come down. And release. I hope those give you some ideas for things you can do at home during the day when you feel yourself kind of slouching or you find your posture is not as good as it maybe could be. You can do any, any of those at any time throughout the day or multiple times to really feel some balance in your body. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon.